Welcome back. We're here with continuing Chelsea's run at the championship here on Football Manager 2020. I'm Mangler, and we just completed a game against the uh, Chelsea under-18s and won 5-1. to one. Uh, The next match coming up in a couple of days is the Locomotive Moscow against Chelsea. Um, right now, performance-wise, they say welcome you into the role. No changes there, no changes, pluses or minuses. I'll go ahead and continue. Um, we've got travel, travel, and rest for Friday. So during that time, it looks like we got emails to look at. William is now a U British citizen. So I'm happy to confirm William's now gained British citizenship after living in the country for five years. He took up citizenship to avoid the need to gain a work permit. He's 30 years old, joined Chelsea from Angie for 38.5 million in 2013. Okay, that's good to know. We have to have a certain number. I think it's eight people that are British citizens. Uh, so that counts as another one. Um, we'll have to keep track of that later. Next, we've got Hunter set for Man City United uh, Man City under 18 coach role. Um, he rejected offers from Chelsea, Charlton, Athletic, and Bolton. So we looks like he was the 59 year old coach we were looking at before. Um, we can add him to the short list. I can look at him. He's pretty good average. Um, two and a half stars average. He's an under 18 coach right now. Uh, so, okay, well, <clears throat> it happens. Um, next. All right, next mail says, Blues meet expectations in dominant win. Um, Conte playing well as a right winger, or playing as a right winger, gave them the lead. Close range finish. Uh, error on the defense. Have Pedro score on the, on the volley. Um, Baker scored on the header. Uh, and then they say they, the other team, the uh, under-18 scored. Nothing particularly new here. Um, World-class midfielder Kovacic completed it with a hind with another header. Uh, next email we've got under-18 suffer heady, heavy defeat. <clears throat> Just going through them, it's like from their perspective, the best player they gave 8.3 was the goal scorer, Miles. Player of the match was Conte, had a 9.1. Wow. Next, we've got their recommendation against Moscow. They're switching goalies on us back to Kepa. Um, Zuma's replacing Baker. Alonso on the left side to replace Zuma. Emerson to replace Alonso. They still have Conte in same position, even though he's slightly out of position from what he's used to. Um, I'll go ahead and say let, uh, use suggested squad for now, see how things go. Um, okay. And then we've got, I'm forwarding the following news article to your attention. Uh, Preseason report from Everton. Everton would be three and a half stars, showing their lineup, showing um, players in that they've gotten, and players out, and how much money they have. So it looks like it, they're rich on finances. Their uh, media expects them to be ninth. It's probably a good idea once the season starts to keep track of the team you're about to play so you can kind of prepare ahead of time. So if they have a really good defense, you can make sure that you're prepared and you have your best players in and things like that. Post-match analysis from the last game. Um, focus of attacks, right wing again. Georgina Nikovicic, best passing, highest combination. Key passes for Conte and Ast uh, mistakes for Aspilicueta. Uh, that's good to know. He's kind of getting a little bit older. He's been with Chelsea forever. Best performance, Conte. Room for improvement, M Michi Batswai. 
He had a large amount of distance covered, but he was poor on the passes, only 54%. It's kind of hard when you're a forward, uh, especially coming in late, to have a high percentage. I have to keep that in mind. Billy Gilmore rejected the loan offer from Leighton Orient. Wow, so it was 502000 he rejected it. So I guess he wants to stick with the team or find some um, higher amount of money. We'll see what happens there. I want to remind you, it's good to review your, your preparation training um, you can either oversee it or leave it to your assistant. Um, right now, the tactic being trained is 4-2-3 run wide custom gig and press. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at, let's see, tactics. All right, so we've got this one. Let's try another one. Pick a preset one and just for practice to get at least another one good. Let's try this Tiki Taka 4141 DM wide. It's got a little spot up here in the upper right hand part of the, of the fields or the pitch, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, well, let's go ahead and try it. We see this familiarity thing. I'm trying to get a high amount on that um, on several different formations. Uh, mentality would be positive, more towards goals. Let's see if we can, if we need to move anyone around. We've got players, looks pretty spread out. Um, Alonzo is more of an attacker. It's interesting having him and Emerson in the game at the same time. I'm not used to that. But it's preseason. We'll just see how things go and keep an eye on it. Alright. Just little other games going on. Nothing too exciting. And now we have disappointed to report that the goalkeeper has sustained a sports hernia following a robust challenge during a training session. Oh, shucks. This is a goal. I wonder if they have a backup. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, next unread is scouting report on the team we're about to play against. Didn't compile a full report, very little data. Their strengths are high level of teamwork is often on display. Conte's work ethic may help to combat that. Finishing the team in general are impressive at taking their chances when presented with them. Weaknesses are their attacking midfielder. Um, they say could be improved upon and the work rate. Some don't want to work hard. Oh, okay. And then there's nine more strengths and 17 more weaknesses. Wow. It's a preseason game. I'm not too worried. Let's go ahead and keep going. Um, Report on this week. Oscar Laqueta got the best training rating, 7.5, and Baker was the worst one at 6. Interesting. All right. Um, training load is high, but still no injuries. Good level of training for this stage. It could, it should help to keep players fresh for matches. Average got a little bit more familiarity with that. 4231 DMY Tiki Taka that we just switched to. Continuing, um, now we're looking at the current general news. Nothing new, nothing new. Welcome you, nothing new. Still have uh, Christensen out with a gash lower leg. Again, we're short on people. Um, Slow news day, much Gilmore, Orient, Chelsea. Funny. Yeah, if that's the biggest news. Should have gone there, right thing for him to do at this stage. Hmm. Okay, inbox update on Christensen. Hey, he's capable. 
Still a little bit low on the sharpness and condition in the 60s and 70s. Not fully fit, but should be monitored. Okay, so he's close. Maybe in the following game we can have him back. Um, current analysis, strengths on the left, weaknesses on the right. Partnerships looks like on the left. Handle briefing. Um, all right, so we've got players are ready to receive instructions. Area to emphasize on tactics. All right, so starting out, uh, we're going to go with our 41414 DM wide today, or I feel, still think we need to work on our DM uh, 4141, so we'll go with that today. I'll go with the first one, just telling them what we want. Very little reaction, okay. Mentality, um, it's currently set on positive. Um, it says if it suits us for being the underdog. I don't think we're the underdog. I'll just say gives us the best chance today. Majority of the squad disagree with the tactical approach. This approach feels too attacking considering the opposition. Okay, well, let's see what else we do. How about if we do cautious? Would that make them feel better? Looks like the majority of the squad agree with this particular change in tactical emphasis. Okay, well, let's go ahead and switch then. I guess since we're favored to win, this maybe will play a little slower. We'll probably win 2-1 to one instead of 7-1, to one, but players won't get injured. That would be the main reason for it. In possession instructions, we could do much shorter passing, play out of defense, dribble less, work ball into box, low crosses, much lower tempo. Let's try a much lower tempo. Why don't you kill off the tempo today? Very low reaction. Um, in transition, we can hold shape or counter press. Let's hold shape. Nothing. Out of possession instructions. Use offside trap. Much higher defensive line. Prevent short goalkeeper distribution. Higher passing intensity. Um, let's go ahead and say much higher in passing intensity. Okay. Opposition report. They're going to do balanced. Nothing on match analysis. Okay, so now we can do player. We can specifically talk to each individual player. Kepa, encourage dribble, take a few more risks. Um, let's try dribbling. No, no response. Hospitaliqueta, get forward on every opportunity, take the ball into wide areas. Let's say wide areas. Um, no response. Zuma, be aware of your surroundings. Maintain your position. A few more risks. Uh, aware of your surroundings. Alonzo, I don't want you shooting on sight in this one. I want you to, don't want aimless dribbling here. Not the right match for that. Let's say that. Emerson, like to see you getting forward at every opportunity. Sure, why not? Barkley, want you to take a few more risks. Okay. Giorgino, keen on encourage dribbling. Ask you to take a few more risks. Uh, dribble, I'll say. Kovacic, license to get around in Rome. Or take a few more risks. Let's see, license to get around in Rome. Conte. Put in a lot of crosses, wide and stretch the pitch, take the ball into wide areas, encourage you to dribble. Uh, let's say dribble. Pedro, do not cross frequently, asking you to take a few more risks. Coming in off the wing, let's say off the wing. And Bachuai, take a few more risks for him. Okay. No responses. I must have done a terrible job. Oh well. Next meeting. Next unread. Um, they accepted the uh, coaches I talked about last time. Accepted. And another one accepted. I can ask them to recommend a signing. I'm not at that point. I'm not looking for new players at the moment. So we're good. Another one accepted. Oh. Downey, who we tried to hire for sports science, 
um, rejected the offer from Chelsea and chose Tottenham instead, the Hotspur. So, okay. We've got lots of other players, or coaches, so I'm okay with that. All right, matches coming up. Here's the match. Nothing new. Out injured. 66 degrees and wet. Hopefully no one gets hurt with all the wetness. I'm glad we're playing a little slower today. That might have been a good idea. Team selection. Choosing players. Let's see. We've got Conte. Alonso is a little out of position. Emerson. Um, the only one would be Giroud. A lot of people are pretty tired condition-wise, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on them. So it'll probably be another take all our players on the bench and put them all in again, just like last time. That's what happens when you play three games in one week, I suppose. I'm glad I only picked three instead of more. You've only selected three substitutes out of possible 12. Proceed to match? No. So apparently I can add more players as defend as, uh, on the bench. Let's see who else I can add. Everybody's injured or on vacation. All of them. So I have no options. I don't want to put an injured guy on here. I know Christensen is possibly playing, but I'm not going to put him on the bench. He might get hurt. All right, well, we'll just have to cross our fingers here. <laughs> I guess in a regular game, you only have three people coming in anyway. Pep talk. Um, reluctantly, nothing to say. Have a good match. Defense. Pressure's off. Go out. Play your natural game. I'm trying to be calm and cautious because I don't want anyone to get too excited to run, get tired, or exhausted. Want you to get control of the midfield. Pressure's off today. Let's just say pressure's off. Attack. Pressure's off today, cautious. If I say the same thing. Nobody said much of anything. Not as excited as the last time, but let's go ahead and kick off. See how it goes. Russia's got it possession wise. I guess they're probably gonna get this shot up here pretty soon. That was it. Maybe the kickoff was an excitement play. Here's Georgina with a cross. Oh, intercepted. And oh, saved by Kepa. Glad he went up on that one. And they had a couple more shots, but it looked like that was over the bar. So we're safe. Barkley over to Emerson. Emerson to Kovacic. Back to Barkley. To Giorgino. Barkley back to Aspilicueta. A perfect cross to Pedro again. Another cross from Pedro to from Aspilicueta to Pedro with a goal. That was awesome. That was a crisscrossy, good centering play. Another assist. I wonder if they keep track of assists. That would be awesome. Good job, Pedro. He's been our best player. The Pedro guy. I used to have a baseball card called Pedro Guerrero when I was a kid. And we always said the Pedro guy. We loved it. Ah, <laughs> oh, goal by Luca. That was on a break. He got a, he got a run, just ran right past everybody. Kepa was just stuck in place like he had... His feet stuck in the mud or something. Would have thought he would have at least come up. They're checking for offsides. I don't see anything, but I'll let them judge that. Yep, now they got the goal. Uh, let's see how we are in conditioning. We've got a couple people are almost 70%. Yellow card for Zuma. Oh, Kovacic is pretty tired here. Uh, let's go ahead and make the sub and pick up Kovacic. He's important enough that I don't want to get him tired. We'll bring in Baker for Kovacic. think we're all set. Pedro's looking a little tired. I might bring in Giroud for him. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Keep an eye on that. Giroud's not a very active person, so I might have to jumble up the strikers a bit. A yellow card for Aspilicueta. 
Uh, Palmieri. Oh, here we go. Barkley from way, way out there. That was probably, that was a long way away. Palmieri passes or Emerson. Palmieri passes it into Baker. Passes it over to Barkley from far out. Long shot. Bam. Barkley with a shot in the top corner. Good job. Here comes another, here comes a corner kick from Marcus Alonso and knocked out for another corner again for Zuma. Zuma being the tall guy, he got the header on that. Now they say people are looking exhausted, look, think about subbing out Conte and Georgina. Team analysis, so far in the first half, we had good shots to touch his ratio in the penalty area, regain position well in central areas on the own third of the pitch only to lose it there just as often. Struggle for position in the opposition's half. Oh, that was the other team. So the other team had two thumbs up. Um, our team had negative. Conte didn't do well, lost possession in the final third. Barkley did get the goal, so that's good. All right, let's see what the pep talk should be. I'm going to say assertively keep it going. Our hard work now will pay off at the end of the season. Nobody cares. Okay, the defense will say assertively uh, impressed with your solid defending. Majority of the players happy with that. Uh, Oscar Laquette looked happy. Conte looked inspired. Midfield, bit lazy. Disappointed. I'll just say pressure's out, off calmly. And Conte looked to gain confidence. Okay, good. And then attacking, um, I'm impressed with your efforts up front calmly. And Bachwai was happy. So go ahead and start uh, watching it kick off. Got a throw in here in the rain. Barkley to Giorgino, over to Emerson, back to Baker. Centered it to Bachwai, but he hit it over. So let's go ahead. We got a couple people tired. Let's see what we got. Uh, Barkley's all the way down to 55%. Should we bring in Giroud and move everyone down? Let's do that. Let's put Giroud in. Um, Barkley out. And we'll put Pedro where Conte was. Conte switch with Giroud. So now we've got the midfielders moving back to actually playing midfield, so this should help. Yeah, I think this is better. Um, everyone's composed or calm, so that's good. Rating uh, Barkley was 8.4 before we took him out, so that's good. His sharpness is very high. We're on the right page with him. Um, should I bring in Caballero? Mm, he's slightly better, slightly worse sharpness, but I think Kepa needs to go up it. We need to have our first goaltender at peak uh, once we get started. Corner by the Russians, knocked it over the bar. Oh, it's his fine save. Ah, and then they got a goal. So it's now 2-2. Two to two. Looks like it was deflected a few times. I don't see any offsides. Shucks, we should be winning this game by a lot more. Um, this is good to know, though. We were kind of doing laid back, and, and this is probably what happens when you do cautious. Maybe if I do more aggressive to see in the middle of the game, let's change the balance and see if this makes us uh, press up a little bit more and score some goals. So this cautious look like it was kind of laid back. We only have two goals against Russia, but we should have more. They're just passing it around in circles. That guy was running fast. Got two shots, two saves. Free kick for Russia. Had a break, but we got away. Got it away. Come on, guys. Bring it up. Press it up. Keep passing it around the defense quickly. Maybe that quick passing thing was the reason we're getting so many turnovers. I think that was one of the things I told them to do in this match. Pass it quickly, and that was a bad idea. 
Although I had a few people I told to dribble, so. Georgina's exhausted, one straight, taken out, sorry buddy. We're just gonna have to uh, go with it. Um, okay. Not doing so well here. Tortino to Pedro to Conte, passing, pass, 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 pass. Giroud got a shot on goal. And we get a corner. Let's see if we can knock in a goal right at the end to win 3 2. No, that's kind of weak. Weak sauce. Alright. Full time. This match could have gone either way, to be honest. I suppose there's no real surprise in a draw. I expected Chelsea to beat them today. But that's soccer. That's what the Russian soccer gazette said. Looks like they had pretty close 12, uh, 12 to 13 on shots, 7 to 7 on target. So it looks like if we play cautiously, we're not going to get as much. So that's good to know. It's a learning opportunity. Good for preseason to kind of play around with things and understand what our possibilities are. But look at this condition. All these guys are in the 50s. I'm sure that's as much of a reason as any. In the dressing room at the pep talk, I will calmly say, luckily it's only a friendly. We need to be much better than that in, comp in actual competitions. Everybody was fired up agreeing with that. So it looks like I was spot on there. In calm, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, in defense, I can say, appreciate your efforts. You were just unlucky today. I can say that. Positive. Uh, reacted positively. Uh, midfield. I could say I was impressed with how you controlled midfield. I'm not sure about that one. Bit lazy out there, a certain standard. Um, I guess I'll just say a bit lazy out there. And they reacted positively to that. So it looks like if you're more on touch with what actually happened, it seems to be helping. Or at least they react positively. Um, for the attackers, I'll go ahead and say... Um, Cautiously disappointed with the quality of finishing. I saw so many shots that were above, so I'll say that. And that's why I agreed with me and looked fired up. So I'll go ahead and end the team talk. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stop for, for now. Um, thanks a lot for listening. Feel free if you like this and you want me to keep going. Um, like the video or subscribe if you subscribe you'll be able to be alerted when the next one comes on so that's definitely a good idea um i better get out and mow the lawn it looks pretty long so better get that going but uh, other than that uh see you later catch you next time